So those are the theater steps. That's 36, okay? So let me just, 37, 40, divide by 15, 316. Let me just erase that. I don't want you to get confused. Move on now. We're getting to inner breath. All right. So here, x is the num uh, the cos. Okay. X is the number of printed printed. Okay. And then y is the therefore we say here how do we interpret this one when we do not produce. Print your books. We do have 316 digital yearbooks. Here, when we don't print digital yearbooks, how many print yearbooks do we have? None. That's it. Here with number six? Yeah. Okay. I need help for number seven. What shall I write? Yes. All right. Okay. What are the constants? M and B. And B. What is the slope? M. What's the y intercept? What are the variables? Y and x. Very good. Done. Okay. Ready? Can you please try it first? According to this one, you do have the function f of x. So you're going to solve when x is 3, negative 4, and negative 2 thirds. This is the one that is more challenging because we're dealing with fractions. Okay? So begin.
question for letter A. Did you get A? Yes. What about the B? Good. What about the C? It's the fraction, is that right? Did you know that your graphic calculator can do the fraction for you? Yeah, you're, you're taking a midterm exam, right? You're taking a midterm exam. So let me show you how to use, uh, uh, particularly letter C, is that okay? Let me show you how to do that on the calculator. Yeah. All right, okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, everyone, graphic calculator. All right, let me clear this. Open parenthesis, put negative two divided by three. Oops. Negative 2 divided by 3. And then you square it, x squared. And then minus 3, quantity. Negative 2 divided by 3 again. And then plus 5. You should be getting that one. Yes? Now, Remember, your answer must be in fraction form because the given is a fraction, correct? Go to math. What is the first number that you see there? Frac, meaning fraction. Press enter twice. Enter twice. Fraction. Oh, I'm right here. Um, all right. So, this one, all right. Look at this one, everyone. Do you go to math? Math is below the alpha. Press number one or enter twice. One, two. Then you should get one. Get it? Okay. Questions? All right. Let's keep moving. The next one. Fine. Now, I'd like to... One to please be very careful with this one because the scenario for number nine is the opposite of number eight. Is that right? Here we're looking for the x value. So, <coughs> what is the special name for f of x again? Y. And that one? Y, y is equal to ten. ten. I will replace that. So that's just ten equal to negative two x. Minus six. Then solve for x. Okay. You do the same thing for the average value. For the remaining two problems. Did you get negative eight? Yes. Okay, good, keep going. So for number two, you're dealing with a fraction, is that right? Mm -hmm. Now, the meaning of that is dividing by two, correct? Yeah. How do you undo division? Multiply. So be clear of fraction by, divide, uh, by multiplying by two, and then you distribute it. So two times negative two x is negative four x, two times negative six is negative 12, and then the two and that two will cancel out there for negative three. Go back to basic solving. So you add 12, 12 minus 3 is 9, divide by negative 4, therefore x is negative 9. Right. 
Yeah, I'm having trouble with B. For B. All right, one more time. Look at that one. What is your denominator? Two. We clear off fractions by multiplying by the denominator. So I will multiply the whole equation by two. Distribute. Two times negative two x, negative four x. Two times negative three, and negative six is negative 12. Two times negative three is negative six divided by two is negative three. That's all. Get it? Yeah, but I mean, like, why, are you, why don't you flip it? Why don't you just use the 2 and not the 3? What reason? <coughs> because I need to get rid of the denominator. I need to clear off dividing by 2. Okay. All right? And to undo the dividing by 2, we multiply by 2. Yes? You said you need to get rid of the denominator. Is that <coughs> just a generic rule, or you just chose to do it? Well, we don't do want fractions, all right? Right. So uh, our main goal is to clear off fractions. That's a general rule. Got it. Okay. To clear off fractions, you multiply by the least common denominator. <laughs> but there's only one denominator, therefore it's the same. Got it. Okay? So if you get two-thirds and three-fourths, therefore you have to find the LCD first. Okay? Yeah. So in this case, it's a little bit simpler because there's only one denominator. Did I answer your question? Yes. Clear off the denominator. Okay. So to clear off the denominator, multiply by that denominator. Okay. Let's get moving. Okay. The next one is a word problem, everyone. Number 10 is a word problem. And what you'll notice at the left hand side is a table. What does that tell you? Graph. Table. Look, what is the first column? X. No, 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 the first, don't years. look at that one, the given. Years. 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 What did I tell you? Since. Since, very since. good. There, since what? <laughs> Therefore, you're going to do that. <laughs> and that's the reason why I, I asked you to make sure to have a copy. Otherwise, you're going to do a lot of writing here and you don't have much time to do that. And there are those on the graphic calculator, everyone. You may work with a partner because it's going to take a while looking at the board and, uh, yeah. Take a picture. I think it's better if you take a picture and then use your cell phone. We're gonna get like a list of all these, like something like this. Like that's gonna take us a long time. <laughs> Maybe shorter. The idea here is you need to know how to use the graph. Know how to? Oh. Yeah. Now check our answers. Hold it. What? 
We're still in A. Is that right? We're still in A. Did you get that equation? No. All right, okay. That's where grammar looks something like that. It's not perfect linear, is that right? What did I tell you in real life? Or that's an ideal situation. So that's why we're looking for the line of, David, this is what you were asking. Best fit, best fit. This is the line of best fit. It's somewhat linear, somewhat linear. Draw, draw the line of best fit. Does it look like exponential, yes or no? No. So, it's more of a linear. So it's just a it's, better answer. Huh? It's just a better answer. Uh, one more time, sorry. Just the better answer? Yeah, yeah. Which one is the better choice? Right. Yeah. Okay. So if I wrote somewhat on the midterm, you take that? Say that again. If I wrote somewhat on the midterm, you gonna take that? Yeah, just like that. I just wondered. Yeah, yeah, just like that. That's good enough. All right. Okay. Are we clear? Take note. We're not going to have a perfect straight line. Okay. That's why we have the line of best fit. We're not going to have a perfect exponential graph. So we say it's going to be curved. Because it's a curve, right? Curve of best fit. All right. But the concept, they're the same. Yes. I think in A, I'm lost on how you got those numbers to put. Stat, call number four. Stat, call number four. Okay. All right. Let's move to the next one. This one is a word problem. Oh, yeah, what was yours again? Can I say it again? Okay. Yep. 